Well, hello, and welcome to episode 51 of Aftershock Weekly. This week I want to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart because I started a small business about 10 years ago, so I know what it's like starting it from a shoestring budget. When you don't have a lot of money, you have no customers, and you're trying to just battle up the hill and get it going. So what we're going to talk about is starting a business on a shoestring budget for marketing. So there's three big things that I'm going to go over. Define, target, and measure. So you want to define who your target audience is and look at who who your potential customers might be, where they might live. Then you want to figure out how can I target them? What are the uh, availability to target them online? And then I would look at uh, how do I market to them? Do I give them something free? Do I give them a trial? Uh, How can I get them through the door if you have a door? Or how can I get them on the phone if you're working on a couch building websites like I used to be? How can you get people ringing your phone to get some new customers? So where I would start is Google AdWords. AdWords is a great place to start because these are people looking for your service. These are people that are online searching for someone that can help them for what you do. So since they're looking actively, that could be a great potential customer for you to have a conversation with and to gain as a new client or customer. The next place I would look is Facebook. Facebook advertising is very simple to define an audience in a specific area and even down to demographics and further on to uh, interests that they might have that pertain to your business. And you can have a call to action in an ad so that you can get them coming to your website, uh, submitting a form to get again a free trial, to sample it, or to just get them ringing your phone. Now, you can set budgets as low as $5 a day on Facebook. On AdWords, the same thing. You also don't have to run the entire month. So there's no minimum of what you have to spend other than maybe $50 on each. Now, if you go to Google AdWords and you type in AdWords coupon in Google, there's many ways that you can find how you can get a free $100 just to get you started as well. Those are two great tools to help you get started. Now, the third one is absolutely free, and that's Google My Business. Google My Business is a way that you can list all the things about your business uh, on Google to where if somebody searches for you in an area and you show up in the map, It actually has a place where they can click. It shows about uh, your business, your location, your hours. If you have them, you don't have to list that stuff. The categories you want to be listed in. And again, you can put an offer in there as well. So check out Google My Business as a free tool for yourself. So those are three things I would recommend to get started on a shoestring budget for your small business. And then eventually as you grow, what it'll give you is an understanding of how things work. So when you're hiring a firm like ours, you know how it works and you know how to hire well so that they can take over and expand on your marketing so that you can get new customers. But I know that that's not the way it starts. Didn't start that way for me. So with that, I hope it helps. I'll leave you with a quote.